Hey, yo, 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 people, how are you all getting on? This is your boy, Popsy, from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our very small, compact wireless system by Small Rig. It's the Full Valor W60. I've got one placed on my T-shirt, and the second one is in my hand, and this is basically the size. And the sound you're hearing is coming from this wireless microphone system. We only need one of the transmitters working at the moment, as there's only one of me here, but we are gonna be carrying out tests later on in the video, just to show you you how this small system works with two people. With that all being said, let's go and roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about reviews and audio gear each and every Monday. As already mentioned, all the audio spoken in this video will be coming from the small rig 4 Valor W60. I've got mines on here and there's the second one. As for the setup of this system, it could not have been any easier. I've got the receiver going straight into the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is on my left here, where the microphone part of it is attached to my t-shirt here. And that's where all the audio is being captured from. The volume level on the receiver is set up and I'm recording in 16 bit 24 kilohertz. There is no EQ compression or any type of noise reduction. You'll listen to the audio as raw as it comes. But however, I may need to boost the levels in post. So the whole system comes in this white box. You get the two receivers and the transmitter. Let me go and show you an in depth unboxing of this system. So the small rig for Valor W60 wireless microphone system comes in this well-packaged white box. And just by looking at the box, I can already see that it's gonna be a premium piece of kit. You're first met with this a charging case with an inbuilt integrated USB type A charging cable on the bottom, a very nice touch small rig. Opening the case, you're gonna find a two transmitters or you can call them mics and a receiver. You'll also find two wind muffs, some call them dead cat. They're there to help you eliminate any wind noise when you're filming outside with this microphone system. You'll also find three cables in the box. The red one is a TRS to a TRS to go straight into your camera. The black one is a TRRS to TRS, which comes with a label indicating it's for your phone. And you also get a USB-C to a USB-A cable. And you also get this very useful user guide to help you get going. And finally, you get this gray colored velvet carrying case. So at the time of filming this video, the Four Valor W60 is retailing for around 199 pounds in the UK. So let's go and check out some of the amazing features that comes with the Four Valor W60 wireless microphone system. So the system includes a, a dual channel, low latency wireless audio transmission. You get a, a signal range or distance of up to 100 meters, which is around the 328 feet, line of sight or a barrier free, no obstacles. It does record in a 16 bit 48 kilohertz, which we're recording in now. You get a long battery life of up to eight hours on a single charge. It's a omnidirectional condenser microphone and you can easily switch between mono and stereo mode. There's a low cut function on both the transmitters, which eliminates low frequency noise below 200 Hertz, to get rid of any low end unwanted frequencies and noise. Both microphones have an independent gain dial to adjust the input and output volumes for both transmitters. All three devices, that's the two transmitters and the receiver, all have their own displays, colored displays I must add, where you'll find the power, the signal, the volume, low cut function, all displays on the screen. As soon as you pull the devices out of the charging case, they already come automatically paired, hence the smart pairing. Both the transmitter and receiver can be charged in three different ways. You can also monitor the audio in real time from the receiver with a headphone port, and I haven't found any latency issues, even though it says 10 milliseconds. The case also has a magnetic attachment for mounting flexibility, and it's great for interviews, video recording, streaming, online conference calls, and the list is pretty much endless. So let's go and see both the transmitters in a bit more detail. On top of the transmitter, you have an interactive colored LCD display. At the top, you have an inbuilt condenser omnidirectional microphone. And on the left-hand side, there's a 3.5 millimeter port for external TRS microphone jack. And just beneath that, you're gonna find the USB-C 5 volt charging port. On the right side of the transmitters, you're gonna be met with a power button. It's a long press to switch on and off and a short press to mute. Beneath that, you find a button that acts as a pairing button, which also doubles up as the one-touch low-cut filter button. Now, once the low-cut filter is engaged, any noise below 200 hertz, such as friction noise, current noise, or outdoor background noise will get eliminated. And on the rear of the transmitter, you'll find a clip to put onto your shirt or camera. That's the transmitter. Let's go and have a quick look at the receiver. 
So just looking at the receiver, you can adjust the volume output level of both transmitters independently with the two dials at the top of the receiver, moving the volume up in increments of two the max volume being 10 and the lowest being zero. You'll also notice that the LCD display is colored. Moving the dial to the right will increase the volume. Moving the dial to the left will decrease the volume. And both volume dials can be adjusted independently from each other. And on the right hand side of the receiver, you'll find the power button, which also toggles between the mono and stereo modes. And on the other side at the top, you get the 3.5 millimeter headphone port. Below that in the middle is a 3.5 millimeter port for the TRS audio output port and right at the bottom there you'll find the USB-C 5 volt charging port and on the rear of the unit you'll find a clip to put onto your hot shoe on your camera. So with that all being said let's go and do a, a range test. Okay peeps this is a range test I'm gonna be in the car so we are gonna have a windscreen in between us and we'll see what that sounds like. Okay so I am now reversing back and uh, I should say that we're about 10 meters away now and we're recording on small rigs for Valor W60 wireless microphone. This is what the audio is like and I'm presume that it's still capturing the audio pretty well. I'm gonna go back to the right back to the gates I don't know if there's going to be any cutoff here or not. Um, hopefully not. Uh, but yeah, I think we're good. Almost about 55, 60 meters away. I'm going to take the gamble. And plus we've got a, a the car windscreen in between us. And I'm going to go all the way back, all the way back. And I'll stop out and, I'm, and I'll get out of the car just to give you an indication of how it sounds in direct line of sight without the wind mirror. Okay, people, so we are around, I would say about 70 meters away, and I'm not sure how the audio is getting captured. I'm gonna turn away from the audio now, and I'm facing the church behind me. It's a beautiful location, and get back to the camera and check it out later on in the studio. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's go and do a test with both mics in mono and in stereo mode. We are in mono mode. We're going to do a bit of a reverse back just to see how it picks up two people if you want to do some kind of a carpool test. So basically, we're going to reverse back. Uh, what do you think of this system, Harpreet? Yeah, I quite, to be uh, to be fair, I quite like the look of it. It's, it's quite unique. It's quite different, isn't it? What do you think in terms of uh, the portability of it? Yeah, it's quite uh, it's quite lightweight. Can't really notice you're wearing it, so that's good. It doesn't weigh you down. So no, overall good. It feels comfortable. We're we're quite a distance away from each other. Yeah, yeah. Car car's length, I would say. Um, Both of the low cuts have been engaged on these. Any low end uh, noise that might be interfering with the sound is now being taken away. Okay, so we are in stereo mode now. If I say something, I'm going to come out from a different channel. And if Harry says something, he's going to come out of a different channel. So I'm going to cap to ten one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this is a check on a stereo channel. Check on the stereo channel. Okay, and hopefully we're both recording. We're just gonna get in the car to see what that sounds like as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna wrap this test up and uh, I really hope you enjoyed this location. It's a beautiful location and it's a great mic, Harpre. No, absolutely. It's been a pleasure doing a mic test on this one. It's different to what we've done previously, but excited to go back to the studio and see what it sounds like. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed all the tests. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the sound quality of the 4 Valor W60. So now that you've had a chance to see the wireless system in action, let me go and give you some of my final thoughts. Well, most importantly, the sound quality you get from the 4 Valor W60 is amazing, as you've heard in the studio and the field test that we carried out. In terms of the build quality, it's definitely a very premium wireless microphone system. The whole device is very compact, light and portable to use. When using both devices, whether it's in stereo or mono, you need to bring your gain levels down by minimum two or maybe even four so your volume levels don't actually peak. It's a simple plug and play system. I highly recommend it and I do give Small Rig a full 10 out of 10 for a great, amazing product. So with that all being said, I genuinely hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments below if you found the 4 Valor W60 of any use and if you're going to go and buy it. I will be leaving the link in the description below. So that's all you're going to get from me for today. Hit the like button if you like the video or smash it if that's something you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already and I shall see you in the next video.